Hello, so we've already covered some techniques and finished a little practicing. In this module, we will start to draw. In this chapter, I will start with the facial outline. There are two sections to cover. The first is outlining the face by drafting. Drafting means we will create an outline by ourselves. The second is outlining the face by tracing. Tracing means we will use an original and trace a draft from that original. This chapter will focus on teaching you about drafting by creating the outline by yourself. This is great for anyone who wants to draw by themselves and practice their skills. You can greatly improve your skill by drafting yourself. However, if you are in a rush, like a customer is waiting or the work needs to be submitted to the customer soon, I suggest using tracing as a better option. Without further ado, let's get started. I will create the canvas first. This canvas is created to fit my screen size. My screen is around 2,700 by 2,000, about that size. Let's select it. Now we have the canvas. I will insert the original photo. When drafting, you also need the original. I suggest inserting it on top of the canvas. Choose Insert a Photo and slide to the left, then click Insert a Private Photo. Okay, the original photo is in. Our first photo is a front-on portrait of a beautiful woman. Place the photo in a suitable area on the canvas. I will put it around here. Okay, we will draw next to the photo. Drafting on an iPad is very convenient. We can measure the ratio of the photo right next to our draft. I think that is so convenient. It will help us to draw the picture very close to the original and create a similar portrait. Okay, now I have the photo layer and layer one. You don't need to change the layer's name because we will delete the photo anyway. I will choose a brush with a bright color so that we can see it clearly. Let's choose the peppermint brush, which is a pencil brush. When drawing portrait outlines or drafting any drawing, I want you to consider everything as a structure, similar to working in construction. There is a foundation pillar and other pillars to support the building. I want everyone to see the overall picture. See it as geometry with circles, rectangles, and triangles. Let's get started. First of all, move layer one up here. I would like everyone to draw a circle. Then use your finger to hold the screen and make the circle perfect. Create a circle around the size covering both of the cheekbones. And finishing at the end of the nose. It should be right here, around this size. This is the first line. The second line is directly in the middle of the face. We need to check and see if it's in the middle of the eyebrows and the center of the tip of the nose. Now we have both the first and second lines. Next, we draw these lines in the space. This is where we start to draft. First, the circle. You should check to make sure it is the same size as the original. Next is a straight line. We can see that the line is not exactly in the middle of the circle. It is slightly to the left. Also, this line is not at a straight 90 degree angle. It is a little slanted and we should follow that. Then we draw it. It is slightly slanted, but the slant is not obvious. Now we have both the circle and the straight line down the center of the face. Okay, like this. Next is the third line. I will place the third line under the inner arch of the eyebrows. Just like this.
so let's draw it in our circle. Where will it be? It's not in the middle, it's down a little. And it slants upwards a little. I'll find the center of the circle first. And move down a little. Like this. Then slant upwards slightly. It slants at this angle. If we want to move it here, we can use selection to drag the line around and move it up. Many tools to help us to take a shortcut. Like this. Let's see if it's right. Compare it with the original. I think it's right, or maybe I can move it up a little. You need to look closely. Okay, then fill in the line so we don't get confused. Because we will use every line during the drafting to measure each position. Now we draw the fourth line under the nose. Usually this line is placed directly underneath the circle. Just like this. Let's compare and see if it's similar. Like this. It's important to remember that you need time to practice. In the beginning, you might look at the original and not really know if the lines are the same. But it's okay. You just need to practice more. So now we have the fourth line. The fifth line is placed under the chin. We measure this line with our hands using the distance between the eyebrows and the nose. Measure like this. Then move your top finger under the nose and you will see where to place the fifth line. So let's measure. One, two, and about here. Actually, the chin will be up around here. So let's mark it. Now we have the chin line. We have finished the third, fourth, and fifth lines. We have five lines in total. The sixth line is in the eye line and is located here. I will draw it. Like this. Just like this. Now we can see that there is a space separated into parts. What is the ratio? I think it's about one third. Let's see, one, two, and three. See, exactly one third. Let's measure, one third is about this. I think this line is too slanted, let me fix it. It can be fixed. It's better like this. Let's erase the first line. Now we have fifth and sixth lines. The seventh line is the lip line. Let's see where the lips are. Where should they be in this space? Let's draw it. We can see that it looks like it's half of the section, but it's not. It looks like half, but it's actually up a little. I will draw the line at the halfway point of this part first. And then move it up. The lip line will be here like this.
Now we have lips. We have the lip line. We have done a circle and horizontal lines. So next, we will draw the triangle. Start at the third line and draw downwards horizontally from the corner of that line. We will complete the triangle by this point at the chin. Straight down. Draw on the original too so we can check. Ah, uh, okay. We can see what features appear inside the triangle and along the lines of the triangle. Can we see the outer eye? Can we see the corner of the lips? Now we can use the blocks and lines to find facial features. Okay. So next is the ninth line. I will start drawing from the corner of the third line again and move downwards. When I'm drawing it, I will tilt it slightly so that it is parallel with the middle line. It should slant in the same direction and be parallel with the central line. Keep the pen pressed against the iPad to check if it is okay. Ah, okay, we have it about here. Now let's take a look at the hair. I will measure using the space at the top here and put it above the circle. Check the forehead, hairline, and up to here to see if it will be in the middle. I think it's in the middle, but it's slightly above. Let's put it here. Okay, if we use Procreate, it will be easy. You can see where it should be because we have the original photo right beside our drawing. There is hair here. I will measure it here. How long is it? Not half of this space. Half is around here. I will draw it here. Okay. Let's see the other side of the hair. There's only a little like this. Okay, now we have a face and hairline. Next, I would like everyone to add a layer. Add a new layer and change the name to draft one. We will use draft one to draw the facial outline. Okay, I will start drawing the face from the cheekbone. We can see that the line is about here. So we draw it at the same place here. It curves a little like this. You need to double check with the original. The line will continue down to this line. And curve it. Next, we draw to the chin here. This line will also curve a little. Keep checking with the original to see where the curve will happen within the grid. Just like this. You can have a great starting point with this template. I think you should create your own template because it's reusable. Here, this one is here. She has a slightly pinched cheek.
we are going to base the portrait on her real face with a strong cheekbone and jaw. Make sure that the chin looks real and not in a V shape like a cartoon. Now we already know where the hairline should be on this circle. So we start sketching. The beginning is just a rough draft. We just want an outline of the face and hairline like this. We need the ears too. They should be around here. By this line, just like this. The ear is level with the nose line. And the second ear. Now we have a facial outline. Next, we will draw each part of the face. I will start with the eyebrows. But wait, before we draw the eyes, nose, and lips, I would like everyone to go back to layer one. Now double check the measurements for the eyebrows, eyes, nose, and lips. Go to layer one and mark the lines. Check the inner eyes. Where are the inner eyes? They're here, so let's draw the line. Draw the line parallel to the line in the middle of the face for both eyes. Now we have the position of the inner eyes, the eyebrows, and the end of the nose. Next, let's check the outer eyes. As I said, this template is adjustable. It depends on what you are comfortable with. Check this side first. See if it's like a square shape here. I will add this line here. I think I drew this line too low, so let's edit it. I will move it up slightly. It's easy to fix. On the other side, the square should be slightly smaller and narrower. Like this. If you don't like it, you can change it. Now let's do the outer eye lines. Check to see if the line is in the middle. I think this one is slightly to the right. So first mark the center point and then move slightly to the right and draw the straight line. like this. Have a look at the other side. This one is more clearly to the left. Okay, the same process. I will split it in half first. Then slightly to the left. Okay. Now we have the correct positions. Let's have a look at this side. You can see that this line will meet the outer arch of the eyebrow where it's bent upwards. So back to layer draft one, choose the Eagle Hawk brush and select the gray color. Let's see where the eyebrows end. The end of the eyebrow begins here and it's not too close to the outline. You should check it carefully. 
Let's draw it arching upwards around here. Then curve it downwards. For this section, I would like you to draw a straight line. Just make it straight, keep it simple in the beginning. We will focus on the curve in detail in the second draft. Where this will be, this eyebrow is next to this line. Draw it down here. Now we have the first eyebrow. After finishing the first eyebrow, we move on to the second eyebrow. See, the end of this eyebrow is right in the middle perfectly in the center of this line. This one is easy, like this. Then curve it downwards. Remember, we are just doing a rough drawing at first. After that, let's see where this will reach up to. It's not to this line, it's here. Draw it up here. And then this line goes here. You need to be very observant if you want to draw portraits that are similar to the originals. You will have better technique if you practice often and will be able to draw portraits that resemble the original. But do you need to be able to draw very similar to the original to earn money? I think you don't need to wait until you have the technique. You can trace from the original photo instead. Okay, so we have both eyebrows. Next, I will draw the nose and then the eyes. If we can see the center of the face first, it makes it easier to draw the eyes. Okay, you can see that the end of the nose is circular. Let me go back to layer one for a second and use pink. I will draw a circle here at the end of the nose. So the end of the nose on this side is also circular. I will draw it. Keep checking with the original to reference the size. Don't make it too big. If you can't see it clearly, go to layer one and adjust the opacity to make it lighter. Let's continue with draft one. There are circles to represent the nostrils in addition to the circle for the tip of the nose. Okay, we got it. Now we have the end of the nose. Let's see where the rest of the nose should go. On this side, the nose line starts at this point on the outline. Now we have a reference point for this side. On the other side, it's not close to the line. It's further away from the line. Now we have both sides of the nose as reference points. You can see there's a slight shadow here. I will make a line for the shadow here. Like this. After that, let's look at the bridge of the nose. Draw it here too. It seems like she has a high nose bridge. So now we have the nose. It's very easy. Let's continue with the eyes. 
Which side are you more comfortable with? I'd like to start with the right side, on my right. We need to draw both sides. Look, it curves upwards. Start from here, under the horizontal line, and curve upwards. Then at the end, by the outer eye, it is right on the horizontal line. The inner eye and outer eye are not level. From this point, draw it upwards. This line is right next to the outer eye. Check the bottom of the eye. You can see that it slants downward slightly. It goes down and then up. Down and up. Okay, now let's move on to the eyelid. It starts here and then upwards. You need to keep checking. How is it? Should look something like this. Iris. The iris will be here. We draw a circle, hold the pen, and use a finger to touch and hold the screen. This will give you a perfect circle, like this. There is also a circular shape for the pupil. She also has, what is it called, a, a water line. Just here. It's where the eyelashes are, just here. Now draw the eyelashes just a little. Well, it's not just a little, is it? <laughs> just rough drawing at first. Okay, see the line here? It gives the eye depth. Draw it a little so that you know where it is. Continue on the other side. Where is the inner eye? Here is the inner eye. The outer eye is here. It's above the line. Okay. The inner eye is here. And the outer eye is a little bit higher. Draw it upwards. Keep checking with the original. You need to learn to become very diligent with checking the original. Okay, next side at the bottom. There's a water line. And then there is an eyelid. Where is it? It will start from here. And end here, up here. And then the iris. Press and hold. Make the pupil circular. Now we have both eyes. 
I don't know how similar it is to the original, but we can take a look and edit it later. Okay, don't forget the expression of the eyes. Shade it in a little so we can see. Just like this. The eyelashes too, draw them roughly at first. Okay, now we've got the eyes, eyebrows, and nose. Let's draw the lips. I can see that the eyes are too big. I will need to edit or check it later. Next, let's draw the lips. Look here, between the upper lip and bottom lip is exactly along this line. Let's draw it here. And then check the corner of the lips. See where it is? It's right by the triangular line that we did earlier. But on this side, it is not exactly on the line. It is outside of the line slightly. Okay, now we check the lips. We can see that they slant slightly upwards here and are a little darker. Let's draw them. Slanting upwards and slightly darker. It's the same on the other side, slanting upwards and slightly darker. It should look like this. Next is the upper lip. Here it curls a bit. Where should it go? Let's compare. From the end of the nose to the line in the middle of the lips, where is the upper lip? I will draw it here. Okay, after that, slant it upwards. The other side too. The bottom lip, let's see where that is. Is it in the middle or around one third of the way? Need to check how it curves. Okay, finally we have the overall outline and have located the position of each part of the face. We finished the first draft already. We can see how it looks. We formed the outline really well. You should always keep practicing. This is a draft facial outline without tracing. Like I said before, each template that I teach gives you an idea of what to do when you start drawing a portrait. Should it have an axis? It should have a vertical and horizontal axis, along with simple shapes that we can see and follow. In future chapters, I will teach you in depth about each part of the face and how to draw it, also about tracing. We will go step by step and you can apply it when you are drawing. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like or leave a comment and subscribe to my channel. As a thank you, loyal subscribers receive a 10% discount on my Procreate Portrait Academy. Check the description for coupon code. See you in the next video.